Good day, madam. We are from group 4, uh, from the seat snacks in study cafe. And we are going to do our executive meeting. Uh, I'm Avish Hamid with metric number 20827. My name is Mama Daniel. My metric number 281734. My name is Alwan Muhammad with metric number 283957. My name is Liu Yan Hui. My metric number is 279633. My name is Liu Mi Chen. Metric number is 278782. My name is Eng Pei and my metric number is 284720. All right. Uh, we shall, uh, let's begin with uh, our executive meeting. A very good afternoon to everyone. I'm pleased to welcome you all to our board meeting. It's a pleasure to be here and meet everyone. I will call upon Mr. Anik to act as a secretary for this meeting. Before that, are there any apologies for absence today? Uh, uh, no apologies have been received. Some members are present today. Okay, thank you, Mr. Anik. Let's go over the minutes of the last meeting. Does everyone have the copy? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, are there any amendments to be made? Then I will approve and sign it as an accurate copy record. No. All right. No. All right. If there are no amendments needed, let's continue with today's meeting. We will conduct a virtual meeting through Webex meeting. The goal of today's meeting is to discuss the current company-related issues. According to the agenda, we will be discussing three primary issues today. I'd like to call your attention of a few essential ground rules for our meeting. Regarding the majority view, members present at the board meeting are presumed to have agreed with and voted in favour of a solution to a board's discussed problems, unless he or she expressly objects or votes against it. Also, it is a pleasure when all participants contribute to the meeting's objectives. Hopefully, this is clear to all. Before we start, may I know if we meet the quorum requirement of members, Mr. Anik? Uh, yes, Ms. Chai. We passed the quorum requirement of members in today's meeting. Thank you. Since we passed the quorum requirement, now we can start our meeting. I'm pleased to confirm the presence of the requisite quorum being present a report at the commencement of this meeting. I hereby call the meeting to order and Mr. Anik, please record the minutes of the meeting. Uh, sure, my pleasure. I will record this minute for this meeting. Regarding the first agenda, we are going to discuss the issue concerning the customer service of our company. The first problem is the root communication of our customer service while dealing with the customers. Perhaps I would like to invite Mr. Alwan as the Human Resource Manager and Ms. Liu as Operation Manager to give a brief explanation regarding this matter. Okay, thank you, Ms. Chai. I'm the Operation Manager of the cafe. I'm Liu Yanhui, and I will give a brief explanation regarding this matter. First, I think we can choose a training provider who really get to know our business and also can support our business strategy and service standard. An experienced and engaging training provider will be able to support our cafe and our team in delivering personal, personalized customer service in a sustainable way. Uh, alternative, we could develop our own internal customer service training program to raise the importance of customer service, product knowledge and skill within the team. Uh, besides that, we may train the team leader to deliver a regular bit size customer service training session. Uh, this can link with their regular team briefing session, provide the team leader with the resource they will, they will need to deliver this bit size session. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Liu, for your solution. Uh, um, okay, as an HR manager, I'm aware that this issue that struck the customer service team is directly affects our department. In other words, it's our call to overcome this specific issue. Um, look, uh, I have no problem with, as Ms. Liu said, um, giving our staff more training course and doing a refreshment. But I'm afraid that if we do this from the very beginning, again, it will not have 
be a very effective way to fully overcome this issue. Because of this, um, we have already conducted a, a hiring and training method that is proper enough to take the qualified employee in. So based on it, I think that there are other causes that might trigger this to happen. Um, there are several possibilities such as provocation from outsiders or from customers and the burden or stress experienced by the worker itself, which has an effect on their work performance. So I suggest that we must do both internal and external research at once so that we can find out the source of this problem. That's all for me. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Alwan as the human resource manager and Ms. Yu as the operation management manager. Does anyone want to provide another solution to the following issues? Yes, I would like to give a suggestions on the issue above. I agree with Ms. Liu that we provide our staff with customers training services. Besides, I would like to suggest our cafe to be more open to customers feedback. This is because one of the most important things to do is to focus on our customers experience and satisfactions towards our cafe. Our cafe can get a feedback from our customers by giving them scanning the QR codes on the back of the purchase receipts. Scanning that QR code will lead our customers to a website on rating our services provided. Then our staff could print out the feedback from customers weekly in order to re-inform, reinforce and improve our cafe services. That's all from me. Thank you. Thank you. Since we have three solutions to suggest earlier on, which are uh, proposed by Mr. Alvan, and as the human resource manager, uh, proposed by Ms. Liu, our operation management manager, and proposed by Ms. Lim, financial manager. Uh, so now we would like to have a voting session for the solution to our first agenda. For those who agree, please raise up your hand. For the first solution, uh, uh, which is conduct both internet and external research. Can I have hands? One, two, three. All right. For the second solution, uh, which is investing in a customer service training. Can I have hands? One, all right. And um, yeah. And another solution, which is, yeah, since a uh, solution one has the majority vote, I have I declare that we should adopt the way of um, conducting internal research and external research in overcoming the customer service issue. Let's proceed with the next discussion. Now we are going to discuss the second issue concerning a production problem. We are facing the problem of poor quality, poor product quality in our company. I would like to invite Miss. Um, as the marketing manager and Mr. Anik as the secretary to give a brief explanation regarding this matter. Thank you, Ms. Shai. As a marketing manager, the I think implementing a quality management system is an effective way to solve this problem. A quality management system, QMS, is a system about the internal rules that govern how a company develops and delivers high-quality product. The benefit of using QMS in our, com our company is to keep our business updated with the latest product quality regulation and standard. Meanwhile, an effective QMS also enables our business to prevent the errors when producing the product, save money, and enhance improvement on our product. Our business image and reputation also will increase by maintaining the consistency of quality product. I think that's all from me. Thank you. Uh, okay, thank you to uh, Ms. Hi, Michael. My point is uh, we need to use uh, high quality ingredients such as using high quality coffee beans. 
right now we all know that uh, we are using regular types of coffee beans the regular coffee beans do not have any special flavors that can impress our customers so we need to improve our coffee beans by using better coffee ingredients so our customer can enjoy our enhanced flavor coffee we also need to improve our packaging qualities lately customers have been complained about our coffee uh, packaging they said our packaging always cause the coffee to spill we need to change the packaging and using high quality ingredients so our product can be well served to the customer that's all from me Okay, thank you, Mr. Anik. Moreover, I think we can work on our preparation too. Regarding to our competitor cafe, why does their cafe food taste better? This is because they have trained chef, the right equipment, and the most importantly is the best ingredient like Mr. Anik said just now. Uh, food quality also depends on our preparation and serving. The quicker the food gets to the table, the better it will taste. The better prepared the chef is, the better the food will taste. So we have to make sure that we are using the best restaurant food preparation technique and that food is getting out to the customer table as quickly as possible. That's all for my suggestion. Thank you. Uh, does anyone have another suggestion for this issue? Is uh, if anyone have the suggestion for this issue, please unmute. Yeah? All right, since no one wants to give, uh, the, uh, since we only have two solutions for this issue of uh, regarding the production issue, then uh, can we proceed with the voting session? Let's start with the first solution, which is implementing quality management system as proposed by Ms. Ng, marketing manager. And the second solution of using high quality ingredients proposed by Mr. Adik, our secretary. Uh, can we have hands for first solution? One. And the second solution? Two. And the, um, uh, as the chairperson, I vote for uh, solution solution three, uh, which is work on preparation proposed on Ms. Liu. And since uh, the, this issue we have majority of the vote on the third solution which is uh, work on preparation uh, as the agreed uh, solution for our second agenda this agenda does this agenda is so uh, move on to the next agenda we are going to discuss the sales issue which is ways to achieve goals sales goals our financial manager miss lim and marketing manager miss ng would like to give a short brief regarding this matter Thank you, Ms. Chai. Uh, as our cafe's financial manager, I would like to suggest that we change our business strategy in order to achieve the sales goal. First of all, I suggest our cafe to offer a customer loyalty program. Our cafe gives out rewards card for our customers that can be stamped after they make a purchase. Once the reward card is fully stamped, our customers can redeem their card for a free drink by their choice. By doing that, our customers can have an incentive to come visit our cafe over and over again and therefore our sales can increase. Besides, I suggest encouraging our customers to order larger purchases. For example, when a customer is ordering a set of fish and chips, our waiter can suggest that they add on our creamy mushroom soup at a cheaper price. It is an obvious better deal for customers to add on the side dishes with a cheaper price. This is a win-win situation as it can boost our sales cafe as well. That's all from me. Thank you. I agree with Miss Lim's idea. 
But in my opinion, I would suggest about giving a reward to the employee who can achieve the sell target either daily, weekly, or monthly. It is because everyone likes to be recognized after accomplishing a good job. The leader in the sales department should know how to appropriately reward the employee that achieved the sell target, even daily, weekly, or monthly. Even though not everyone will be motivated by the reward, it may take some investigate work to identify the proper reward for the employee and develop unique way to encourage the sell team to achieve the sell target of our business. Hence, I think this might be the best solution for the problem of achieving the sell target. Excellent idea. Perhaps I could give another suggestion in achieving sales goal. In my opinion, I would suggest that our business provides more offers and happy hours. One of the best means to attract already existing and new customers to our Sabi Cafe is surely by offering offers on special occasions. A price down, a price down offer on specific days, such as um, the second and third Saturday of the month, could be one of the ways to bring in extra crowd in our study cafe. Here comes with the importance of happy hour strategies. The best part of a happy hour is that uh, they are targeted at the time of the day when sales are down low. Maybe we set a specific hour of one to three p.m. to be the happy hours. Customers would enjoy an extra. 15% price drop when they visit our cafe during the happy hour. Hmm. Any other suggestion on this issue? Uh, no. 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 All right. Thank you, Miss Ling and Miss Ng. I'm confident that we can able to accomplish this issue. Let's proceed with the voting session for this agenda. We begin with the first solution, which is changing the business strategy as proposed by Miss Lim, financial manager. Please raise out your hand if you agree. Okay. All right. Uh, for satisfying solution is also proposed by Miss Lim, our financial manager, which is encouraging our customer to order large purchases. All right. Since no no votes on this one, let, next proceed with the third solution, uh, as proposed by Miss Ng which is giving reward to the employee. All right, two, oh, two. And the last solution, which is uh, provide more offers and happy hours. One. So, all right, since solution one has the majority vote, which is changing the business strategy, then we, then the best solution would be uh, this one in overcoming the, this issue. Does this agenda is also so. Before we end this meeting, I would like to call Mr. Anik to sum up what we have discussed and the agreed solution of this agenda at this meeting so everyone we can understand. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chai. Okay, firstly, we discussed about the customer service and issue of having a road communication while dealing with the customer. We agreed uh, to implement the solution uh, given by uh, Ms. Liu, which is uh, giving our customer, uh, our uh, employees a uh, training provider. Okay, secondly, we discussed the production issue of poor product quality. All members uh, agree with solution given by uh, also uh, Ms. Liu, which is our work, uh, our preparation of our meals. And then uh, finally, uh, we discussed the issue of sales in achieving uh, the sales goals. Uh, we agreed to adopt the solution given by uh, Ms. Lim, which is uh, we uh, we change our st uh, business st strategy, uh, such as giving our customer a loyalty program so we can attract our customer uh, to our cafe. That's all for me. All right, thank you. So do anyone have any question or wish to discuss any matters arising? No. 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 All right, good. I would like to inform all of you of our next meeting will be held in January and further details will be updated from time to time. That concludes the formal business of today's meeting. On behalf of the board, I would like to thank you all for attending the board meeting 
and I declare the meeting to be adjourned at 2 226. Uh, thank you.